Hey everybody, Dr. Ward here with Clinical Anatomy Explained and I wanted to offer you guys a quick mea culpa and explanation for where I've been, what I've been doing for the last several months since I haven't been posting any new videos. Had a couple big projects come to uh, completion, one of which I'll tell you about in the near future, but one of which I can talk to you about right now. For several years I've been working on a project to create models that not only appear anatomically accurate but have a, give someone a feel for what happens when different structures are intact and when they break. So here, we've got a first start on a prototype looking at the ankle and how the ligaments of the ankle can be detached when they invert or evert. And you can see, got a nice mechanism right here. It's just as beautiful in person as it appears on camera, I'm sure. And working with that, came up with a prototype that's a little smaller, has a little bit more refined feel. And lastly, we now have this nice little streamlined model of the ankle ligaments. What you'll see here is that there are paracord ligaments running from the base up here down across the ankle, taking the route of the anterior talofibular ligament, the calcaneofibular ligament, and the posterior talofibular ligament, as well as one on the medial side that's replicating the kind of anchoring down of the medial malleolus to the navicular, the talus, the calcaneus, and so forth. Long story short, you can pull on this and get a fairly intact feel of the ankle, as though somebody's ankle were intact, which is what most students do when they're working in the laboratory to kind of feel that on their partners. But unlike what you can do with your partners, whose ankles you cannot break, rupture, or otherwise traumatize, we can detach the ligaments up top here and get a feel for what happens and the gap in the severe changes that occur when those ligaments rupture. And we can even make it more severe by increasing the number of ligaments involved, the sliding and drawer signs that are present thereafter. And if you can make it really severe with an inversion sprain, we can pretty much gap the entire lateral side of the ankle right there. Bad news. So hopefully these models and ones like them will be helping people learn the physical examination a little more solidly and actually be able to put into practice those findings and be able to get a feel for how those findings appear on a real person. So, this product has been uh, produced in conjunction with my home institution, the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine, and a company in California called Bone Clones, who make very high quality bony casts for archaeological, paleontological studies, as well as human medical studies right here. So, if you'd like to check this out, I think the product page for this should be somewhere around the bottom of the screen right here. All right, and so, until later, I hope uh, everyone's doing well, and I'll have more videos on medical gross anatomy, embryology, neuroscience, and so forth in the near future. Have a great one. Bye, everybody.